Chi Plus. Our FC24 account that we haven't spent a single dollar on and in 10 days have taken from Division 10 all the way into Division 4. At this point, opposition teams became a lot tougher and we would start to lose games as a result of having an outdated team. So in today's video, I'm going to add another 4 days of progression onto our account, with my goal being to beat the game by making it into Division 1 before the account turns 2 weeks old. So when I logged on, my Division rivalry was ready to claim and this was perfect because with the insane promo cards in pack, we had the opportunity to upgrade our team. Now the XP that we got also allowed us to level up in the season pass and this gave us another decent pack. First pack, and this one's just going to be Tiago. And in the next pack, we pack an 82 rated habits. Now this wasn't good because if we wanted to make it into Division 1, we were going to need to upgrade our team a lot and so these packs needed to get better. But unfortunately, initially, they wouldn't. We're down to our two best packs now, English, centre back from Chelsea. That card is getting nowhere near our team. And hopefully in our last pack, we'd get a player who would get into our team. Wow, we're getting no upgrades for our team. And so because of this, I had to devise a plan to be able to upgrade our team so that we could make it into Division 1. So the first Champions Finals event is here and by performing well in it, we can get some insane rewards. And because I wanted to perform well, there was a specific player that I wanted to purchase, but because he was quite expensive, we had some coins to make. Now real quick, if you're going to spend money, U7 Buy is the best place to do so for the cheapest, fastest and most reliable ultimate team coins on the market. And if you use my code BLUSH at checkout, it becomes even cheaper. The link will be in the description and a massive thank you to them for sponsoring this video. So using the untradable players that we got from our rewards, I'm going to complete the entire market matchups SPC. And so this is exactly what I started to do. And because the packs that we'd get back were tradable, this was a good way for us to convert our untradable players into tradable items that could help us to make the coins that we needed. Now in the first pack that I opened, the items that we'd get were awful. And even though we did make some coins, we needed to make a lot more. Second pack now, Dutch. Sentiment please be the young. Oh no, it's just going to be Gravenberg. And although we did make a little bit of coins from them, the next three packs were nothing to write home about. Final pack now, this is our best one. And that's going to be Kalo Navas. And because of the fact that it was 85 rated, we were capable of selling him for a decent amount of coins. Now once our player sold, we were up to 24,000 coins, but this was nowhere near the amount that we needed. So in order to play in the Champions Finals, you have to qualify first. And by participating in the qualifiers, you can get some good tradable packs. And so on day one, the plan was clear. Get as many wins as we could in the qualifiers to give ourselves the best chance of getting the player that I wanted so that we could get the best possible rewards in the Champions Finals, which would allow us to purchase even more upgrades for our team before entering into Division Rivals and pushing all the way into Division 1. And so we entered into the qualifiers. And this is how our first game went. Leo, good speed and a lovely finish. And in our first game, things would go just the way they needed to. And Kunku, yes. Is our opponent going to forfeit? He does. And after winning this game, we needed to win a minimum of three more in order to qualify for the Champions Finals. But already in our second game, our defense would be exposed. No, Kimpembe. Oh, good save from our keeper. And with the attack that we had, we wouldn't get a lot of opportunities. And so not taking these opportunities could come back to bite us. Oh no, we got to tackle him. Oh, Saliba has been insane but if you can't score you can't win and so we needed to score a goal Leao could step off us and he scores and after scoring that goal it seemed like the floodgates were open because we were capable of scoring two more goals and winning this game as a result of that and even though it was only the qualifiers the teams that we were facing were incredibly tough but it was this challenge that made these games a lot more fun to play and Kunku what a goal but shortly after this no Kimpembe loses the ball and we concede because of him. But then we'd have the opportunity to restore our lead after Leo won us a free kick on the edge of the box. Bruno now, I'm gonna fake it with Nkunku and if I score this, you guys have to subscribe. And I'll be collecting those subs. And as I continue to play the next two games in the qualifiers, I would find out who the best players on our team were. And after winning both of these games, if we win this game, we qualify for the Champions Finals. And what happened next was incredibly rare. Because in our next game, we would get a free win in the qualifiers. And this meant that we qualified for the Champions Finals. Now at this point, I claimed some objectives that we had completed. But unfortunately, not get anything good from the packs that we got. But because of the fact that as we won more games, we could get even better rewards. And the fact that we needed to make a lot of coins if we wanted to have a good team for the Champions Finals. I decided to continue playing in the qualifiers. Bruno now finds in Kunku. Having 5 star skills is so important. And this next goal would prove exactly that. In Kunku once again, he is insane. And after this, Leao would link up with Smith, who scored our third goal in this game and caused our opponent to rage quit. I then entered into another game, but unfortunately, oh, we just disconnected from our last game, and in the worst way possible, we've picked up our first loss. And because of this, we could no longer get rank 1 rewards. I was still important that I won the remaining games that I had, and so in the next game that I played, I would take my frustration out on my opponent, and after scoring 3 goals against him, we would pick up another win. At this point, I'd enter into another game, but after my opponent saw that they'd most likely lose, they ended up forfeiting at 0-0. This would cause my frustration to be amplified and because of this i would end up losing the next game that i played but it was important that i use this loss as a lesson and develop a stronger mental fortitude because of it and because we could upgrade our rewards if we won the last game that we had i would try my best to
to win it. Leo, the speed boost is insane, and Smith scores in an open net. After this, Smith would return the favor and do well to help Leo score in an open net. And between our four attackers, it was clear that Leo, Smith, and Nkunku deserve their positions. Okay, so we just won our last game, and this means that we're at least getting rank 3 rewards, so we now have the potential to massively improve our team. Come on, give me some coins. Ah, oh, that's worthless. Hello, but that man. isn't. Shadow sold for 5,000 coins. And on top of that, I sold the other players in this pack. Second pack. And we are getting a special card. And it's going to be a CDR team of the week. And although he was one of the worst, we could still sell him for discard value. And this allowed us to make a lot more coins. I then get an 84 rated card in the next pack. But Hello, behind man. it was the team of the week. And so once again, we could make a decent amount of coins. And after that, I'd once again pack Birch, And we were now down to our final pack. Okay, it's a Portuguese striker. No way, we just packed the goat. And we did. We just packed Ronaldo. And believe it or not, the goat was only worth 20. 1,000 coins, and so after listing him, I would sell the rest of the players in this pack. On this day, our players had sold, and we were up to 88,000 coins, and this was just about enough for me to make a massive decision. So Nkunku has been insane for us, but Toku hasn't really done that much, and so I'm going to replace him with Anthony. Now, one of the reasons why Nkunku was so good was because of the fact that he had 5-star skills, and so for this reason, the player who would be replacing him also had 5-star skills, and if you haven't guessed already, that player is going to be Usman Dembele. Okay, so our players are finally sold, and we just about have 200,000 coins, and for that amount of coins, we can purchase one of the best attackers in the game right now, and with the rapid playstyle, Dembele is going to transform our attack. And although it wasn't the ideal way of doing it, we had now acquired the attacker that I wanted. And so the next step in our plan was to enter into the Champions Finals. So we can get these insane rewards if we can perform well in the Champions Finals. And with these rewards, we can make the upgrades to our team that we need to. And so I'm going to enter the Champions Finals. And it's time for us to start playing our games. And this is how our first game went. And so you know, it's so tough to play with this connection. Leo? How have we missed that? And throughout the rest of the first half, because of the poor connection, we couldn't use Dembele to his full capability, and defending in this game was also a lot tougher. And it was only in the second half when, no, I can't defend with this connection, and we concede. And frustrated at this point, due to having a poor connection, I would rush out against my opponent, and they would be capable of capitalizing on that. At this point, it just felt like nothing was going my way, and I felt robbed because I was losing a game that in normal conditions I would have won, and once all was said and done, we had indeed lost our first game in the Champions Finals, and in order to achieve my goal, I had to win the last 19 games that I had in a row. But in the second game that I played, the connection issues that I had would still persist. So I can't even move my players, and I concede a goal. And because I had this disadvantage, I had to try my best to score. Dembele, good skill. I didn't even mean to do that, but we have a goal. And after kicking off in the second half, the lag would frustrate me even more, and I made a massive mistake. You know, I've just fouled him. No way, we're getting a red card. And to make matters even worse, shortly after this, I would concede a goal. But there was a reason why we bought this player. Dembele, good skill. And we've equalized, we can do this. And with the disadvantage that we had already, poor performances was the last thing that we needed. And after my opponent took a two goal lead against me, I would be capable of scoring one goal back. But unfortunately, we would ultimately end up losing this game. So we don't have layout for the next game, but we can use our loan on Ri, who we got through completing objectives in the last video. And in the next game, for the most part, it seemed like our connection issues were no longer there. Dembele, good skill. Yes, we have a lead. And although we could no longer get rank 1 rewards, it was still important that we won as many games as we could. Anthony now, step overs, and a goal! Which would cause our opponent to rage quit, meaning that we had just picked up our first win in the Champions Finals. Okay, so we can now add Leo back into our team, but my plan is to use these loan items towards the end of our Champions Finals campaign. I then noticed that we had Van Dijk on a 24 game loan, and this meant that we could use him throughout the entire Champions Finals, and Kimpembe was the player who we replaced. Now in our first game, the connection issues would once again return, and it would cause us to concede first. This then made me realize that these games were going to be random, but it was important that I did everything that I could in order to win. Oh no, it's through with Warner. We have to get there? No, he sweats it and he scores. But like I said, we needed to do everything that we could to win. Smith? Yes, we've equalized. And on this day, there was no way that I was going to allow the circumstance to ruin my Champions Finals campaign. And having this mentality allowed me to take a two goal lead in this game. And although my opponent would score one goal back, we would still end up winning this game. Now, with a positive record, I thought of stopping there for this day, but I decided to enter into one more game. And initially, this looked like the wrong idea. No? How does a keeper not save that? But it was clear to me that I was the better player in this game. Smurf, no hit the post? No, we got so unlucky. And after getting opportunity after opportunity, I knew that I could win this game. Anthony, layout's open. And he scores, we've equalized. But remember when I talked about having a strong mental fortitude? Well, no, he's trying to clear the ball out. Yeah, he knows he's gonna lose. And so he leaves so I don't get the win. And once again, I had the opportunity to stop right there, but I decided to go into another game. Bruno, finds Leo. Yes, we in the lead. But after taking the lead, we would not stop there. And throughout the rest of this game, we would continue to score goal after goal. And after scoring six goals, end up picking up a win. So we've won another game, but I think I'm going to stop playing for now. 
on this day, I was in a much better headspace and I decided to start playing Division Rivals to see how far we could make it. And I also did this to test our connection, which seemed to be fine on this day. However, playing in these games also highlighted another massive problem to me. And this was the fact that although our team was now better, it still wasn't good enough to help us get into Division 1. And after playing 3 games, losing 1 and just about winning 2, I realized that although we had 3 really good attackers, we still needed 1 more. And in our backline, Kimpembe was proving to be a massive problem. Now when it came to our midfield, although it wasn't completely necessary, it would be nice to upgrade Bruno Fernandes. After claiming some of the objectives that we had completed, opening the packs and not really getting anything that benefits our team, I knew that the only way to progress further was to finish playing in the Champions Finals. And on this day, because I was in a better headspace, I set myself a much more realistic goal and this was to get ranked 4 rewards which would be 14 wins and so after adding Van Dijk back into our team I entered into the Champions Finals and things will start in the best way possible Dembele through to Hakimi who scores and on a level playing field the quality of Dembele allowed him to stand out above the rest and at this point we would score 2 more goals and these 2 goals would allow us to win the game and then in our next game we'd find an extremely tough opponent and the first 90 minutes of this game would be tough with none of us being able to score against each other and the game would then go to extra time and in extra time our opponent would have one really good opportunity no oh what a save from our keeper and after this although we didn't score a goal our opponent wasn't capable of scoring either and this game would go to penalties my opponent and i would then go back and forth until eventually we had to save this penalty to stay in the game i think he's going to the right no, I went the right way but he scored. But even though we did lose this game, it wasn't the end of the world for me because although it was going to be a lot tougher, I still felt like I could get 14 wins and those rewards could help us to get the upgrades that we needed. On top of this, we had 11 games on a couple of our loan items but even though they would help us, we couldn't wait for these reinforcements and it was important that we started to win games. Smith is open and she scores. Van Dijk, you have to be able to catch up to him. How does he score down the middle? Bruno now finds Leo. Who scores? We need to make sure we win. And because we defended well after scoring this goal, we would end up winning this game. Okay, they have a good team, but we need to continue winning. Anthony into Smith, who gives us a lead. But it was important that we extended this lead. Smith is insane. My opponents would then score a goal against me, but we would reply well by scoring another goal against them, and this would allow us to win the game. Okay, so through completing an objective, we're gonna get this pack. Come on, Brazil, CDM, Casemiro. Okay, we just packed an 89 rated card, and although you couldn't upgrade our team, the loan items that we had for 11 games could. Okay, they're taking advantage of their loan. Saliba, you have to tackle him. No, he passes it in, and we can see. And so we needed to make a comeback in this game. Dembele into Ronaldinho, good step overs. This card is insane. But sometimes, things just don't go your way. Van Dijk, how did he kick through me? And at this point, although we were the ones creating more opportunities and having the better chances, not being able to score them allowed our opponent to stay in the game and get the win against us. So we have to win 8 out of our last 10 games to achieve our goal, and to do that, we're gonna have to turn up. And in the next game, turning up is exactly what we do, and scoring 3 goals against this opponent will cause them to rage quit. Okay, that's one win, who's next? Okay, wait, before finding out who's next, I have to add Henri into our team. And this was the next opponent that we faced. Leo finds Henri, who scores. And these loans were starting to play their part. Henri scores another goal. After this, Henri would find Dembele, who scored the third goal in this game for us, and this caused our opponent to rage quit. Next, and early on in our next game, Leo finds Dembele. Good skill. Yes, we got a penalty. And our opponent also got themselves a red card. Bruno now. This game is too easy, but after scoring that goal, even with the red card, our opponent was capable of equalizing. But with these loan items, there was no way that I was going to lose this game. Henri, his goalkeeper should have saved that. Leo finds Dembele. Yeah, no. Ronaldinho, due to Dembele. Yes. And after this, Leo would breeze past our opponent's defenders and score a fourth goal in this game. So we've just won three games in a row and rank 4 rewards is looking a lot more likely. And with these packs, we can definitely get the upgrades for our team. And with only 7 games left, I could add a final loan item into our team in Desai. Now in his first game, Desai wouldn't have to do a lot because one goal from Henri would cause our opponent to rage quit resulting in us winning the game. We'd then go into another game, but this time one goal wasn't enough, however two was. And after scoring these two goals, picking up another win meant that we only had to win three out of the last five games that we had. And so this is how our next game went. Henri now, this guy's so fast, finds Dembele who scores in an open net. But the opponents that we were starting to face were incredibly tough. Desai, no, it auto switched me to him. No, I pulled my keeper out. And because these opponents were tough, it was it was good that we saved our loans for this stage. Now after scoring our second goal, our opponent would once again equalize the game, causing us to go to extra time. But this time, I was not going to lose in extra time. Now, finds Bruno. Ronaldinho's open. Good skill. 
and a lovely finish as well. And while I stepped up, my opponent crumbled. Hakimi Ronaldinho's open and he scores in an open net. And at this point, one more goal would guarantee us the win. Henri, I'm just gonna shoot from here and he scores. And our opponent rage quits as well. Now after winning this game, I would find the best team that I'd ever faced. And although initially we would hold our own, ultimately our opponent's high tier players would end up getting the better of us. We have three games left and we have to win two of them. Come on, we have to tackle him. Messi's dribbling is absolutely insane. But we couldn't afford to give up and we had to do our best to win every single game. Henri, what is the finish? But at this point, the pressure would start to get the better of me. And just like previous times, it looked like I was starting to crumble. This guy keeps celebrating against me, we need to get him back. But this champion's final journey for me was all about improving. And so I needed to do better. And so after equalizing the game, I would get an opportunity with Henri. Yes, we made the comeback. But we still needed to get them back. Ronaldinho scores. And now we can celebrate against them and it looks like they're going to forfeit. And forfeiting the game is exactly what they do. And it looked like we could achieve our goal. Okay, if we win this game, wait, he has a full bronze team and he's going to be giving us the win. And so after Leo scored the most important goal of our Champions Finals, we had qualified for rank 4 rewards and because we had a game left and winning that game wouldn't do anything for us, I decided to give that game away as a free win. So we get rank 4 in our first Champions Finals and these insane packs along with the coins that we're getting will allow us to get the upgrades for our team. First player pick, we're literally getting 4 84 rated cards. Second player pick now, come on give me an attacker. Oh, we got Tonali! I have to take him, he works perfectly in our team and he was also worth over 80,000 coins as well. Final player pick now, can we get an insane defender? No, we just get an 85 rated card. Now the XP from our rewards allowed us to level up in the season pass and this allowed us to get another 85 rated card. And with three insane tradable packs in the store and loads of promo cards available, hopefully we can now make the coins that we needed to to be able to purchase the defender and the attacker that I wanted. First pack, we're getting a promo card, Portuguese. Cam, wait, isn't that Bruno? It is, but it's going to be two walkouts. And we get Goethe as well. And this was definitely a decent start to our rewards. Now in our next pack, an 84 rated card would be our best one. And so even though it was underwhelming, I still listed every single item to make as many coins as I could. Final pack now. Come on, German, CDM, almost work. But I think we're getting two walkouts. We are, we're getting two walkouts. And we pack Casemiro once again. Now behind them are not that many valuable items, but I still made sure to list everything and then upgraded our team by adding Tonali into it before waiting for our 54 items on the transfer list to solve. Okay, so some players have sold and since the most important purchase would be an upgrade at the center back position i'm going to purchase tomori for 69,000 coins and now after adding him into our team and getting more chemistry on leo we're one step closer to making it into division one i then relisted the items that didn't sell but at this point knowing that we wouldn't get the coins to be able to purchase rashford i purchased another player who was extremely good for us in the past and after adding them into our team our team was looking a lot better and i felt like we had a good chance of making it into division one how does this guy have neymar crosses it in for him no way and early on into our first game it seemed like we still needed to get used to our new team tackle his neymar no we gave away a penalty i feel like he's gonna go down the middle but i'm just gonna go to the left and he goes down the middle but we had just upgraded our team and so it wouldn't make sense if we lost in division four and so throughout the rest of this game i would continue to create decent opportunities smith how has his keeper saved that but even though i had these good chances i still wasn't capable of scoring and this just didn't make sense to me so we just lost our first game but we should be winning and as i continued to get used to this new team it seemed like i could actually start to win Tonali into the Bele, lovely goal and in this game we would do well and score another two goals and that would be enough for us to win i'd then go into another game in which goals from smith and dembele respectively would see our opponent throw in the towel making our next game an incredibly important one because winning it would allow us to pick up a win streak tonali now finds Kunku. lovely skill that has to be a penalty smith on the penalty and we score down the middle and at this point smith would score another two goals and because tomori was so solid we wouldn't concede a single one okay that's another win and we've just passed the checkpoint but it was in the next game when I noticed a massive problem. Wait, why is this guy using the player lock? Tomori, good defense. Wait, what? It didn't let me control my player and I concede to Rashford. And for some reason, the players that I was facing were incredibly tough and I had to do a lot in order to score a goal. Okay, we've gotten ourselves a penalty and I'm gonna go down the middle and we score. Dembele now, good interception. Can we find Leao? We do. And Leao scores. But after taking the lead against this level of opponent, it didn't look likely that we'd maintain it. And it was at this point when I realized how important Rashford could be. Leao playing in Nkunku's position. Bruno finds Hakimi who finds Smith. Good dribbling. 
this guy just got finished. And at this point, once again, Smith would score another goal. And I was happy to see that three of our attackers were still good. But the problem was that only three of our attackers were fulfilling their roles. Now, because of this, on this day, I decided to do something risky. So the game's already starting to get really tough. And although Nkuku is good, because we're playing him on the wing, it would be better if we had a player who had more speed. And for that reason, I still went to purchase Rashford. But because we had roughly 60,000 coins on our account and Nkuku was worth about 50, I still needed to make 90,000 coins before we could afford him. So the fastest way of making coins right now is to play in the qualifiers once again now because of time this was risky but if we could get a lot of wins we would get some insane rewards now in the first five games of the qualifiers i would start to fall in love with our team because tomori absolutely solidified our back line and tonali was a luxury to have in the midfield and literally the only flaw was the fact that i would predominantly play towards one side of the pitch because i just felt like we had better attackers on that side now even though this was the case and it did cause us to be more one-dimensional in the attack the qualifiers this time around was a lot easier than the first time we played it and we were capable of winning the first five games that we played in a row okay so we've just achieved qualification for next week's champions finals but we need to keep on winning games so that we can get some really good packs hakimi let's fake the player lock and now let's pass to smith this has to be in and she scores bruno into leo he's never going to miss from there yes that's another rage quit and we're even closer to getting better packs but as we continue to win games these games will get a lot tougher now i've passed it back to him and he scores and in the next game poor defending from me would cause me to concede three goals and lose the game as well the next three games that i played would also be incredibly tough and of these three games i was only capable of winning the first two before losing the third one that i played and this meant that we only managed to achieve rank three rewards first pack is only going to be an 84 rated but if we want last foot we're gonna have to make a lot more coins than this the next pack would only give us an 81 rated card but because it did have a hunter chem style i was capable of making some coins and we are now down to our final three packs spanish right mid from atletico madrid oh we just got lirente i'm pretty sure he has some value and because of this pool we were capable of making more than 15,000 coins from this pack but the pack still needed to get better from here no we're not gonna make that much coins from this pack and so it all comes down to this final one swedish left back oh i think this card is valuable yeah with those stats this card has to have some value and with 19,000 coins she did have some value now after most of the items that we had listed sold we had about 120,000 coins and even with Nkunku we were still 30,000 coins short from being able to purchase Rashford and so the risk that we took didn't end up paying off and we had a lot less time to complete this challenge okay we need to start winning some games in rivals and with the same team as the one we had before these games weren't any easier than they were before and because of this in the first game no we have to get there we ended up going down by two goals now because of the time that we had left we couldn't afford to lose any games Leo, we need to make this comeback Leo, good interception and he's putting the team on his back smooth we get lucky and we score because of that and after scoring that goal we would have one more opportunity in this game smooth finds dembele good skill what to finish as well and after winning this i was left feeling worried because that game was a lot tougher than it should have been and it was in the next game when i realized why because after going up by one goal against his opponent they would defend incredibly well and not allow us to score another goal in this game on top of this this opponent was really good at the game as well and it was only when they took the lead against me in the 91st minute when it hit me you see because they're not as many players where i'm from versus places like the uk or the us not many players had made it into the top division this early into the game this meant the majority of the time i was playing against the toughest players out there and that's why these games were so tough now at this point with the amount of time that we had left i would be happy if i could make it into division 3 and so that became my new goal no this is the same guy that we just lost to but this only motivated me even more to try to win smith could step over this has to be a goal no way he saved that and throughout this game i would apply tons of pressure onto our opponent and have the better opportunity but against the run of play, a simple low pass from my opponent would give them a good opportunity. No, I was in beyond the defense. Our keeper has to be doing better than that. But even after conceding easily, I was still by far the better player in this game. And because of that, I was capable of equalizing. But after scoring that goal, we would have one more decent chance. But after not being able to take it, we would end up drawing this game. I then continued to play. And although the next two games weren't easy, and we were only capable of winning by one goal in each of these games, because of the fact that our next game would give us a win streak, we were now only one game away from making it into Division 3. And this is how that game went. Oh, nobody's marking him. How have you not tackled him there? And at this point, after conceding two cheap goals i felt like everything was working against me but after doing well and scoring a goal all of a sudden we had a chance layout's open he's trying to get him behind this has to be a goal no and because we couldn't take our chances and our opponent was capable of taking this we would end up losing this game i then continued to play another two games and in these two games i would win the first one before losing the second one leaving me in the same position that i was before except for the fact that i now had a lot less time because of this if things were to continue at this rate we would not reach division three and so i needed to start putting some wins together smith finds leo good step overs 
and we actually have a lead and we would maintain this lead for 77 minutes in the game until no he has a player through how has our keeper not saved that but with the time that we had left, I knew that a draw at this point would make it impossible for us to reach Division 3. Leo into Smith. Yes, we have the lead, we need to keep it. And keeping this lead is exactly what we do, and it was not important that we put a couple of wins together. How do people have these teams? Leo, Smith is through. Smith, you have to score this. What a finish! Leo, into Nkunku. Find Smith, this has to be a goal. And it is. No, he's using the player lock. He crosses it in. No, that's a good goal. But with only eight minutes left in this game, all we had to do was defend. That's the last minute. We need to attack. Dembele finds Hakimi. No, we lose the ball. But it's the end of the game. And so once again, just like before, we were now only one win away from making it into Division 3. Okay, if we can beat this guy, we make it into Division 3. But he has Mbappe. But initially, this didn't matter because we had Leo scores in the near post. But due to time, any result but a win in this game would not allow us to achieve Division 3. Knowing this, I would go all out to try to win this game. Dembele, good skill. Lovely ball roll. And a lovely finish as well. When he's pausing the game, is he going to forfeit? He does. And that means we made it into Division 3. So even though this wasn't Division 1, I was still happy with this achievement. But my journey into Division 1 does not end here. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy one of these ones. So go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them.